Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another episode of DIY Diaries. A lovely sunny day in Southwest Sydney this afternoon. I've got all these bricks here. I've got all these locally sourced bricks. <laughs> if you know me personally, you'll know why. It's funny that these are locally sourced bricks. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna make this ledge today. So I'm gonna prep this spot right here, sweep it out and then stick all the uh, bricks together and then chuck the angle iron on. That's what I'll be doing right now. We've actually had some rails and stuff donated by Vincent, check them out. We've got this flat bench thing here, sick. It's a bit tall though. And then we've got like a mini little rail over here. Ethan's here today too. And uh, we've got this rail over there as well. Shouts out to everyone that's watched the episode so far. I'm getting really good um, views on these videos. So yeah, hopefully you guys are keen for more. Alright guys, so you can see this is a rough idea of what I'm going to build right now. I'm going to have to cut the angle iron down. It's only coming three meter length, so I'll cut this up first. I'll start gluing the bricks together and then I'll uh, glue the coping on. And it should be able to be ready to be skated by tomorrow. Alright guys, we got the angle all cut to size. I actually took a bit of, I took a spark into my mouth. So if you guys are working with power tools, make sure you use the correct personal protection equipment. I had glasses, I just didn't have a mask, but I didn't think I'd cop a hot spark into my mouth. So yeah. got the ledge assembled got a couple of these cement plastic fence thingies just holding it all together holding the coping down gonna leave it to dry overnight and it should be ready to skate tomorrow I think should be pretty solid actually didn't use too many uh, thingos of liquid nails I used one two three four five so I used five on a ledge there's 20 cinder blocks in this ledge and it's about 190 centimeters so just under two meters i still got some left over i've got another six to use for another project as usual i actually picked up this plastic parking curb a couple nights ago and i brought it here i think i might glue it to the ground i don't know what do you guys think so this is it right here i just got to pull those bolts out but the underside is like it's like hollow so maybe i could like cement it first and then glue it down or something just so it doesn't move around. Like I said, guys, shout out to everyone that's watched the first and second DIY Diaries episodes. Really grateful for the uh, for all the support. So as you can see, um, the slab's really starting to take shape now. We've got this ledge here. We're gonna have that ledge down there sorted by tomorrow. Um, that raised parking curb, that rail over there, that little rail. We've got the manual pad, and we've got this little bench thing that can be moved around. All right guys, I'm out here with Daniel. We're in the garage today. We're gonna to fab up a rail. So we're about to head down, pick out some scrap and then throw together this rail. So yeah. Just a look. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Is there another one of these? That would work perfectly, I reckon, because it's got holes screwed there into it already. Be, there might be some more over there. We'll go have a look. Yeah. All yeah, right. this is long as. Yeah, how this long is, is that? 3.1 meters. Damn. Alright, this will be enough. Sick. So we've uh, got these bits of steel here. They've got the feet on the end of them. So we're going to cut 
I think we're going to cut it up and use these as the legs because it's going to be dyno bolted into the ground anyway. And then we'll have enough length out of this to build the rail. As you guys can see now, just two bits of scrap metal. And then by the end of it, it's going to be a rail. That do. It's a steel brush just to clean. Oh, okay. See how it's got all shit all over Yeah, it cleans the welds off a bit. Yeah. We've got this rail together now. If you guys are wondering about the process, we found a bit of steel, a bit of scrap steel. It already had these base plates on it. Um, we cut it up, sized out how tall we wanted the legs to be, and sized out how long we wanted it to be. And then Daniel tack welded it together, and then he welded it together so it's like solid as. Take it out in the sun. Yeah. So you guys can see this thing in the sunlight. It's pretty uh pretty solid. Not bad for what? How long do you reckon that was? 40 minutes, 50 yeah, like minutes, half an, an hour? hour or like that. Yeah. Well half an hour with us mucking around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna learn a bunch of tricks on this. Yeah. Very, very appreciative. We've got one of the cuts off one of the legs that we had to cut. Daniel's given this to me as coping for the quarter pipe that I'm gonna build. Probably the next episode, hopefully, you'll have to stay tuned, but yeah. So we got our coping for our quarter pipe here. We're gonna make a quick little pole jam as well, guys. We've got a bit of scrap I've found at the DIY here. So we're gonna hopefully cut the angle a bit and then weld it down to this plate. And then this plate's already got holes so we can bolt it into the cement. And uh, yeah, happy days. That's two features. That's three actually, the ledge, the rail, and the pole jam in one episode. So yep. everyone's gotta be cheering, I reckon. Pumping out content. Yeah. Pretty much got our rail sorted out, cut, welded, shut, and we got the pole jam sorted out to pole jam 2.0 since the first one didn't last very long. All right, guys, we just got the rail sorted out. We just got the pole jam sorted out. So all that's left is pretty much chuck a layer of paint on the pole and on the rail, sorry, and on the pole jam, and then um, bolt them into the ground. So yeah, big shout out to Daniel yeah. for uh, You're welcome. putting in the work today couldn't be possible without you so thank you also if you guys have any uh, questions wondering how we produce this rail just drop a comment below and I'll respond and I'll try to give you the best rundown of how we did this it's fairly simple we just got a bit of scrap metal Daniel cut it up we sized everything out and then he welded it together so there's not too much there but yeah if you guys want to know anything just drop a comment below and I'll uh, try to answer it the best I can so pretty much, um, I went down super cheap, bought a couple of tins of black export. I got some red too for the pole jam, so it'll match the curb. But I'm going to paint this rail up black today, and then we're going to install it. Got a whole gang of fools out here today. That ledge is good to go. I'm going to chuck this rail in today. Should be a good day. Shouts out to Eugene um, at Visionary Skate on on Instagram, he just donated 30 bucks, so $30 to go into the slab. 
I'm gonna save this, put this with the rest of the money all of you guys donated, and um, that should buy a fair amount of bags of cement for this quarter pipe next episode, so you'll have to stay tuned for that one. Alright guys, I got this rail painted up, it's just chilling, drying in the shade. Probably should have put it in the sun, but I didn't want to be uh, <coughs> visible to the road that I was painting because it only takes one person to ring the police and uh, complain that someone's spray painting and then the police come and shut this spot down. So yeah, I'm going to let this rail dry in the shade for a little while and then um, wait for Stephen to get here then chuck it in. Look how good this rail turned out guys. Like, you couldn't even tell. This is the same rail as uh, earlier in the video, like it looks completely different. How good is that black finish on it? It looks like, like brand new. Doing this legit, Stephen's going to grab a tape measure, then we're going to measure out the distance between that raised curb and the ledge, so we can put the rail smack bang in the centre. That's, that's the halfway point. Okay. Yeah, so bring it back, what? How much does that need to come back? A foot? Literally, oh, literally 10 mil looks like. Oh, just off the end, you mean? Yeah. That's almost spot on there, about an inch. Yeah. Just got to worry about the yeah, that. lining up with the tile. We got a dead center now, with uh, between the curb and the ledge and this space here. So now the process begins. Got to figure out where to put this pole jam. It's got to be in a spot where you can kind of hit it after you do a line or... Yeah, so... Decisions, decisions. Alright guys, this is the next day. My camera battery died. Both my camera batteries died actually and my phone was like on 2% so I couldn't film anything more yesterday. Pretty much we got the rail chucked in, got the pole jam chucked in. Check it out. Looking schmick. Good colorway with the tile. Matches the tiles, the black. And we've got the pole jam over here, painted up all red. This thing is so sick, like you can hit it with both your front and back trucks. This place is like a mini park now, guys. It's like a mini plaza, to be honest. A lot of people from around the world have been asking me where this is, actually. So, thank you for all the support. Cheers to everyone watching the videos. Um, I did notice one thing about these DIY diaries. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed. There's like 70% of you guys that are watching that aren't subscribed to my channel. So, if you guys want to help me out, hit that subscribe button doesn't cost you anything it's free I mean that's a big chunk of people 70% of people aren't subscribed so if you're watching this video right now make sure you subscribe got Leon and Marshall out here today I'm gonna get a few clips for you guys enjoy the park this side's all sick and then we got flat ground here people skate flat ground here we've got this plaza section and then this section here we've just got the manual pad so I might end up chucking a few more things in here what do you guys reckon we should put on this side of the slab I mean there's plenty of space as you can see and then you got the manual pad right here. So I don't know what to put. Originally the pole jam was there, but someone come and broke it. So we made a better version of it and bolted it into the ground. So that shouldn't happen again. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think we should build in this little spot right here behind me. Oh my god, boy, he got his glass. Oh my god, boy, that one time. Sip and walk, make my heart stop. Adi ho, yeah, my love, my thigh. Yo, I let her go, put her on road, put that whole payroll, put that whole on go. Yeah, she like to go, yeah, she love the cold. Then they get slow, like a snow cone. Yo, get that bag, show them how to ball. I'm in the mall, yeah, I'm seeing tall. Ooh, look like yeah, I'm 
Alright guys, this video is a lot longer than my usual videos, so if you've made it this far, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not following me on Instagram already, you can follow me at Enochism. All the links are in the description below. You can keep up to date with the build. You can see what I post on my story. I'm usually down at this lab pretty much every second day almost, so yeah. Also, big shouts out to Daniel for fabricating the rail, and big shouts out to Stephen for installing the rails. Thank you guys so much. I'm very grateful to uh, have you guys help out. But yeah, hope to see all you guys in the next video.